Hello and welcome to ICT Trends. In this video, I'm going to solve one uh, practical question of MS Word uh, in War 2010. You can find another video to solve the same question uh, solved from uh, MS Word 2003. But here now, I'll solve it uh, from War 2003. The question was uh, from the set one from the sample set one uh, of computer operator examination uh, from the PDF file that was uh, distributed from ictgens.com. If you do not have this file already with you, you can download it from uh, the website. Please visit www.ictgens.com. So the first uh, question on this set was from MS Word, and that question asked you to uh, enter the given text. Uh, here, the three paragraphs are asked to be typed and uh, apply the drop cap uh, on the first paragraph with the specified font and specified distance uh, of drop cap from the paragraph. Similarly, converting a second paragraph uh, into three columns. Uh, where each column are of different size. The first and uh, last column are of one inch and the middle column is of four inch. Uh, similarly, the fourth question asks to uh, apply the border and shading, gray uh, color shading and blue color double line border around that paragraph. On the fifth question, we are asked to apply the indentation, a two inch indent from the left and right. And finally, the sixth question requires you to uh, set the header and the footnote. Remember, the question asks footnote, not the footer. Okay, so to solve this question, I'm using a Microsoft Word 2010. If you have Word 2007, the procedures uh, are very much similar. There's not much difference. First, the question asks, to enter the text. Uh, let me start uh, the text here. I've already created the text and just paste it on the document. Don't be surprised, I'm not typing it. A software did it for me. So here we have got uh, three paragraphs of text as was asked in the question. And while typing text, as I've already told you in my previous video, try to make your document uh, look somehow similar to the uh, text uh, printed on the question paper. Uh, here, uh, the paragraphs are very much close with each other. Let me add some space between the paragraphs. And also, the lines within the paragraph are very close with each other. The gap is a bit smaller. Let me increase the gap also. For that, I can go to the paragraph dialog box and let me launch the paragraph dialog box. This is the dialog box launcher. Here, I will specify six point uh, space before each paragraph and six point space after each paragraph. And the lines inside the paragraph will be of 1.5 lines, one and a half line spacing, and click OK. So this is the text as was asked to enter. Now, on this text, uh, you should care about the character formatting and other type of formats given on the question paper. Like uh, this uh, ST, ND and this RD and this ST, these characters are already superscripted um, by the autocorrect feature of Word 2010. If they are not uh, done automatically, you can select the text and press Control equals Control Shift equals to to superscript, or you can just uh, click on the superscript button on home ribbon uh, of the MS Word. Well, what's left here is now the word computer must be underlined. Like the word computer is underlined on the question, so let me underline it. 
you select the word by double clicking it click on the U button on the uh, font group of home ribbon or alternately you can press ctrl U to underline the uh, word selection underline the selection okay uh, for the first question this much is what it had asked and finally the question says to save it as your symbol number in your folder so to save the file I can click on the file menu and choose save as on the save as dialog box I should save it on the desktop the folder of my symbol number and the name of file will be word underscore 9851-0032 this dot doc uh, is from previous video when I illustrated solving this question from word 2003 okay I type the word underscore and my symbol number it will be stored inside the folder under my name in desktop folder and desktop so finally click on save button the file will be saved so that's all for the question number one for the first question that's all you need to do now on second question what does it ask uh, create drop cap for first paragraph drop it two lines down with Algerian font and then should be 0 0.4 inch space between dropped character and the paragraph okay to create a drop cap uh, for first paragraph place your insertion line anywhere inside the first paragraph and then open the drop cap menu uh, we have got three options here dropped in margin or remove drop cap none because we have some more specific uh, values to be specified we should access the dialog box therefore choose the last option here drop cap options it will open the dialog box and here we need dropped by two lines with font a l g e r i a and algerian i found it here and distance between distance from text distance of the drop cap from text is 0 0.4 inch and click OK the first character will be dropped and the gap between this dropped character and the paragraph is 0 0.4 inches that's all for the second question now let's look at the third question what we need to do here uh, present second paragraph in three columns with a line between each column the first and third columns will be one inch wide and second column is four, four inch okay so select the second paragraph you can click 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 triple click the paragraph uh, is somewhere inside the paragraph will select it after you it's very important to select the paragraph otherwise uh, the whole document will be converted into two columns and this is not what you are supposed to do uh, either you need to insert the section breaks before and after the required paragraph and apply column formatting to that particular section or uh, you need to select it and apply column format i guess selecting and applying column format is much easier than going through the whole process of inserting the um, section breaks there after you select the paragraph go to page layout column formatting is the page layout formatting and from the columns button you choose one two three or left right here uh, because we have some specific requirement we must access the dialog box so go to the more columns it will open the columns dialog box as question asks us we need three column uh, with a line between those columns there must be a line and because our three columns are not equal first and the third column must be of one inch wide and fourth column should be a four inch wide therefore 
uh, we need to remove this equal column width uh, checkbox and specify the column width as one for the first column i guess we need a very low gap between the space and between the columns and second column must be four inches and third column must be one inches okay so this is going to be our uh, width of the column column specification and uh, just care what is selected on the apply to because we have already selected the text and access the command or open this dialog box on in the apply to box it must be selected text well if it is selected text you don't need to do anything simply click on ok now your text is converted into three columns though the text appears to be uh, in two columns only the first column here second column here but still there is another one inch column on the right hand side you can uh, check it on the ruler like one inch on the left and four inch in the middle and one inch on the right if i hold alt key and click on somewhere here you can see the values of the column width okay this is uh, what the question asked now let's go to the fourth question the fourth question asks us to apply gray color background and double line border around the third paragraph borderline should be of blue color and one and a half thick okay so to apply the border and shading around a paragraph we need to select it go to the uh, border and shading dialog box sorry uh, please it's on the home tab the borders bottom and uh, at the end you will find the menu to open the border and shading dialog box just open this borders and shading dialog box and the question says to apply gray color bo uh, shading background uh, fill with gray color and we don't need a pattern just gray color filling is enough similarly for the borderline it says to apply blue color borderline let me choose the blue color uh, double line border find the double line border from this list and the thickness of the borderline should be one and a half open the one, uh, width list and choose one and a half point after you have selected all these and these options on the dialog box uh, make sure the apply to box is selected paragraph and finally click ok that's good so a paragraph here is with gray color filled inside and blue color oh sorry there's no blue color let me check it again go to the border and shading dialog box ah double line border with one and a half but the color is not blue let me choose it uh, make it blue and click ok well now it's okay now gray color background double line border with blue color that's all the question number four required now on the question number five uh, justify third paragraph and apply two inch indent from left and right the paragraph must be aligned justified and indentation two inches from both left and right so place your cursor uh, cell, uh, sorry place your insertion line inside the third paragraph and to justify paragraph you can simply click on the justify button or press ctrl j it will be done and for the indentation let me go to the dialog box open paragraph dialog box and on the indentation box left one sorry it's a two inches uh, in the two inches on the left and two inches on the right I click ok so this paragraph now is pushed inside two inches from the left and two inches from the right so the paragraph got only two inches space in in the middle uh, to extend and finally the question number six enter history of computer computer technology as header and 
enter following footnote for the underlined word of the third paragraph. So we need to set this uh, header. To insert headers, you can go to the insert ribbon and click on the header button. Word 2010 will open the, a list of available headers, different samples, uh, because the question doesn't specify which particular style you will need. So you can choose any of them. Let me choose this one, blank three columns. And I'm not entering here anything. Just let me remove all of those text boxes and type it here directly. On the middle, I'm typing S I S T O R Y of computer T E C H N O L O G Y technology as header. That's all. I can close the header editing screen by clicking on this red close button. So this is the header text. Finally, the question number six also needs to set a footnote. Footnote. Uh, for the underlined word of third paragraph. This is our third paragraph and in this third paragraph this computer is the underlined word So place your insertion line just after this word computer and Access the menu to footnote to insert footnote uh, Let me go to the insert menu and ah, Sorry, let me go to the reference uh, ribbon reference tab on the ribbon and uh, insert footnote button. Click on insert footnote button. A small uh, mark, footnote mark, is placed where your insertion line was blinking, and now your cursor jumps at the bottom of the page to enter the footnote. Here, let me type early programming languages where machine dependent. Okay, this is the uh, footnote text, and that's the last question. So after you do all these tasks on the document, don't forget to save your. Click on the save button on the quick launch uh, on the quick launch bar, or from file menu, uh, choose save button, so that uh, the file you had already saved on question number one gets updated and it includes everything you have done till now. Okay, that was the solution of the MS Word uh, portion from the set one of uh, sample practical question from that PDF file. Uh, don't forget to uh, click like on the Facebook page of ICT Trends. And remember the address is www.facebook.com slash ICT Trends. Thank you for watching.